Hi, I'm Mike Davenport, Louisville Chevy dude, and today I'm setting a 2014 Chevy Spark. And before I tell you what I'm doing, please don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you come to the dealership. Make sure you ask for me as well. So today I'm going to show you the MyLink system in the Chevy Sonic. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to pair the foam. It's extremely easy. Okay, the very first thing we need to do is uh, really simple. Actually, let me take this back to the home screen, um, is pair our cell phone. So we can do it one of two ways. The way that I like to do is I just push the little guy on the, on the cell, on the steering wheel and ask me, hey, there's no phone connected. Do you want to connect Bluetooth phone? I tell it yes, tell it search for Bluetooth device, and then my cell phone and the radio will start searching for devices. So um, once they find each other, you just push, a, push the button. There you go. It's found it. It's going to connect it, say yes, say pair on your cell phone. That's how easy it is to connect your cell phone to the Chevy MyLink system. Now I'm using an iPhone 5. It works very, very similar with an Android uh, as well. Hit OK. My phone book will upload in here in a second. And uh, this is all sharing via Bluetooth. Nothing is ever stored on the device itself. So once you leave the car, your phone book does not become available to anybody else. Only when your vehicle is uh, running, your phone is in the vehicle. You notice up here I got the bars of what the signal strength is and my battery as well. So now my phone book's up. The way to make a phone call is this works directly with your voice command system, Siri, or voice command on Android phones. So the little guy with the waves that went out of his mouth, hold that in for about three seconds. Call Louisville Time Temp. Calling Louisville Time Temp. So that's how easy it is to make a phone call. Now my phone's working and everything's going right through the, the radio. I'll hang up via the button on the cell phone uh, or on the steering wheel as well. Now another really great feature that I love, and I want to connect my phone to this one because it's better. Now I'll take that back. I'm going to show you this first. Everything does go through Bluetooth. So if I want to listen to music, here you go. Here's my music coming from my iPhone via Bluetooth. Okay. So now let me show you when I connect this with the USB port. We have what's called Grace Note technology. Now it's reading. Now it's reading, and there's the album art for that particular music. So that's an advantage of connecting it with or tethering it with uh, your USB port. But another advantage is, is I'm not losing any battery life. Um, I can use, I can go through here and get all everything that I want. Now I'm gonna hit home, come back to smartphone link, and now you see that I've got some features here. Bringo, which is the navigation system. $50 app on your iPhone or Android, and now you have a navigation system that pops up on here rather than spend $800 or more on this car. Um, Pandora, so now I'm gonna, load Pandora and now my Pandora is working through my phone or through my radio from my phone and you can see I can't even use Pandora on it. Here's my thumbs up, my thumbs down. If I want to add an artist or a track, if I want to bookmark it, if I want to pause it, if I want to go to the next one and the really cool thing is if I want to go to different stations that I have on my on my Pandora. Volume controls right here. I can control it just like that. If it's real loud, I can hit that and mute it. It's very, very simple. Coming into telephone, I don't think this is a feature that most people are going to use, but it is in there. If I want to bring up my phone book, there's there's my phone book. Again, I don't know what the reason to use that is other than just saying um, push push the talk to talk button and go from there. If I want to search for uh, someone. Again, I don't think it's a feature that uh, uh, I'm going to use much. So, but um, now I'm now I'm getting names to come up over here. 401. I've got three over 3,000 contacts on my phone. So it's it's again. I don't see a point using that, but it is available to you. Um, in your audio, you bring up your sources, and we got the volume again going crazy here. So we'll come back to that. So if I want to go to iPod, I can do that. If I want to go to AM or XM radio, I can do that. It's very, very simple. Uh, again, back to smartphone link. If I want to listen to Pandora, 
it's that simple as well. Now the great thing about the Chevy MyLink system is this is an open source radio. So I suspect uh, having some apps available for this. I know iHeartRadio is out there. I know there's you know uh, ex, you know there's a ton of other uh, just like Pandora uh, apps. So I suspect that there might be some more of those coming up down the road. So that shows you a little bit about the Chevy MyLink radio. I think you find it easy to use and not complicated. There's a lot of different radios out there and trust me they are complicated. You can do a simple Google search on that. Not that I'm throwing Ford my touch in under the bus in any way shape or form. But uh, uh, anyways it is very simple to use and I think if you're not someone who is technology savvy that that is a big hindrance uh, on, on buying a car nowadays because some of the cars like this don't really have a whole lot of buttons and uh, you got to do everything through the radio. So this isn't the case. You saw how easy it is from the get-go and uh, as always with all my customers and anybody who I can help, please feel free to contact me in any way. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and drive safely.